I'll show you how to log someone out of your Roblox account. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. Once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. Let's get right into this guide. This guide will work on both mobile devices and computers, so let's get right into this. So if you're thinking that somebody else has possibly logged into a Roblox account, or you may have been hacked, I'll show you how you can go and log them out and then secure your account. So what you'll need to do is firstly go to your settings. So if you're using Roblox on a computer, go to the top right and click on the gear or cog icon and tap on settings. To get your settings on Roblox on the mobile app, go to the bottom right and tap on the three dots and then scroll down and see so you see the options for settings and tap there. Then you need to go to security. So if you're on a computer, go to the left hand side and then tap on security and you'll be taken to a page which looks like this. So what you then need to do is go and scroll right to the bottom, just like so. And as you can see, it then says where you're logged in. These are all the devices you're currently logged into a Roblox account. So if you see a location you don't recognize, what you should do is go and click on it like this. And then what you can do is go and tap on log out of session and that will remove that one device. Or if there's quite a lot of sessions you don't recognize, what you can do is go and tap on log out of all other sessions like this. And so you'll need to go and log back into your Roblox account on all other devices. Once you've logged out of all sessions or just the sessions you don't recognize, then what I recommend doing is doing two things. Firstly, go and click on the back button in the top left and go to account info settings. And what you should do is go and change your password. So just go to the right of password and tap on sort of the pen and paper icon. This is a change password button. And as you can see, you can then go and enter your current password and then go and enter a new password. So go and change your password. And then once you've changed your password, go and click on the back button in the top left again and go back to security. You should then go and enable two-step verification because this basically means every time you log in, you need to go and enter a uniquely generated security code, which only you have access to, to go and secure your account. So if you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.